Hi, I'm Helen from Communicard and I'm going to show you today three watercolour washers that always crop up in different parts of our paintings. Now the first one is what we call a flat wash and I'm using a very saturated indigo colour to show you how this is done. Moving the brush, I'm loading the brush with a lot of pigment, moving it from left to right, left to right, and just catching the bead of colour on the bottom of each stroke that I do to drag it down and to create a flat block of colour. It looks easier, but it's as it's like everything, it's easier said than done. The second wash that I'm going to use is what we call a blended gradient wash. And this is great for doing the basis of a skyscape or a landscape. I'm getting some water onto a thick mop brush and I'm dragging it down with the same movement, left, right, left, right, until I get to the bottom of the page. I have to leave this, the water that I've applied, just a moment, just to help it soak in because I don't want any puddles of water. I'm getting the indigo colour again. I'm loading my paintbrush and starting from the top, I'm going to drag it down like I did before, but loading the paintbrush a little bit less because as it goes down the sheet of paper, I want it to become lighter and lighter. I can, to do a second layer, go back and just load my brush again and repeat the same process. So in this way I'm starting dark, medium, light as I go down the sheet of paper. You can also tilt your board a little bit and this will help that downward soaking um, feel to the water colour. The third and final wash that I'm going to do is what we call a broken wash. Now my brush, the same brush, is not soaking wet like before. It is damp, just damp. And as you can see, I'm dragging the saturated colour that I'm using, I'm dragging it along the sheet of paper and deliberately leaving some areas of dry, scratchy pigment. This is great sometimes for landscape effects, for fields, for maybe a beach scene, maybe the lines that we have a sand on the beach. Um, a really good effect. If you find this quick art hack useful, Join me in my online art learning membership, Communic Art. You have an array of art courses taking you to the next level of your art journey and all at a super reduced monthly rate. Check out the details below.